Hey everybody, today is June 2nd and today is second day of uh, testing our metal queen excluders and today I'm gonna go ahead and check my main mangrove location and install a couple more of these metal queen excluders on some of the hives I already installed plastic queen excluders so we're gonna be able to see the difference at the end of uh, honey flow it's gonna be probably after a couple weeks, maybe two or three weeks. So go ahead and check a couple more hives. Here is what I'm taking usually to my bee yard. Like this time I took few queen excluders. One box of mixed common foundation. Smoker. Also if you are driving a SUV or any small car and you don't have a pickup truck, you can put your smoker inside, inside the bag and it's not gonna smell so bad in the car. Hive tool, a little bit of pine needles to light up my smoker, and a bee suit. Usually I have some extra stuff just sitting in my car, like brush, pair of gloves. So and here is what we are gonna do today. Last time I showed you I installed a few queen excluders, like you can see that hive has queen excluder, like this hive doesn't have queen excluder, this hive has queen excluder, I believe this one doesn't, and this hive doesn't have queen excluder as well. So we are gonna go ahead and check three hives and give them queen excluders. And what we are gonna have at the end, we'll have help of our hives, should, should have plastic queen excluders and three hives will have metal queen excluders so we're gonna be able to see if metal queen excluders work better or not I don't know why this hive since I moved this hive here they always they've been sitting on the side of the hive and I don't know just running around the hive every single time when I go here they just sit around the hive and kind of, I, I don't know if they're working or not, but I have to install queen excluder in here, so I'm gonna open them up and see what is going on here. So okay, basically what was the problem here, they have queen, it's old queen, like not very old, just one, one maybe one and a half year old from last year, but what is going on here, the queen, she's not laying eggs very good, so she probably she got hurt or she got sick or something else, and she's not laying a lot of eggs, she's laying just in few spots, maybe like four or five frames in the entire hive and I guess bees they kind of understand it and they probably just don't like it so they're just sitting around so look guys I'm working on my last hive here and I'll show you some small life hack as you can see here is a lot of sealed brood, sealed brood and a lot of sealed honey and I'm trying to leave this frame in the bottom box and to make sure that queen is gonna lay some eggs she needs she needs some space to lay eggs you can kind of open up your seal brood seal, seal honey so and what is gonna happen after we install the queen excluder this they're gonna move all the honey into the top box and queen she will have some extra space here to lay eggs because when you leave for queen only one box sometimes she doesn't have enough room to lay eggs and they can start swarming but you know packing your old honey you can give her some extra space 
and the same on this side. So done working here, installed three twin excluders and I checked a couple other hives. The ones got the twin excluder uh, one week before and seems to be like they already have a little bit more honey than hives without queen excluder. So now I'm planning to go to my other location and check how bees are doing over there. So guys, you have to stop and check that place out. Real cow milk ice cream. And that place calls the Green Marketplace. It's located in Port St. John on US 1. So if you live somewhere like in Coca Beach or Titusville area or Port St. John or I don't know Rockledge or you go to the beach in the Coca, it's very close to 528. You should stop and check that place out. So that's all for today's vlog, bye and don't forget to eat healthy. Now I am at my second location, the main location and everything what I want to do here, just open the covers and see how bees are doing inside and take all these unpainted boxes back home and paint them.